How's everybody doing today? My name's John Du, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to set up your own VPN. There's so many different benefits of setting up your own VPN. One being the performance. You're going to see the best speeds that you've ever had on any type of VPN with your own personal VPN on a proper server. You can also argue that it's more cost effective to set up your own VPN rather than choosing some providers. It just depends on which provider you're comparing prices to. Not to mention a lot of VPN providers log a little too much and that kind of defeats the purpose of a VPN in the first place. If you guys get stuck anywhere in this video and need a little bit of help, go ahead and join my Discord. I have channels in there where me and other people can help you actually go through the tutorial. I will put the link to my Discord in the description. And before I get into the video, I just want to let everybody know that I'm going to go through every single little step of setting up your own VPN from buying your server to logging into your server and running the commands. I'm going to make it so anybody who doesn't have any experience doing this can do it for themselves. Throughout this video, I'm going to be referencing different services and prequis entities that you guys need to download in order to make your own VPN. You can find all these links on my website. I have a blog article that goes along with this video, and the link to that will be inside of the description. You can also find the commands that we're going to be using to set up the VPN so that you can just copy and paste them onto the server. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you guys are going to want to do is download all the prequis entities from my website. The link to that will be inside of the description. The two services we're going to be downloading is OpenVPN Connect so that you guys can connect to your server once it's created. And then we're also going to be getting MOBA Xterm. This is so that you can SSH into your server and run the commands in order to make your VPN. One more thing that we can deem a prequisity is the VPS server. This is a virtual private server and it's going to be used to run your VPN. If you don't know what a VPS is or you've never purchased one before, I'm going to walk you through all the steps right now. The VPS provider that we're going to be using for this tutorial and what I will actually recommend to all of you is Blackhost. They offer incredible performance for the price and they also have unmetered bandwidth so you guys can browse and use your VPN as much as you want. You can have multiple users and you won't have a bandwidth cap. So to get your VPS, you guys want to go to Blackhost's website. The link to that will be inside of the description. Once you're on their homepage, go to the top menu where it says VPS hosting. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll have various different plans you can pick for your VPS. If you guys want to get peak performance, go ahead and choose a better server. But in this video, I'm going to be using the cheapest plan. Once you choose your plan, you're going to be prompted with a few different questions. They're all very simple. You're going to be required to enter a host name in which you can just put any different name that you want for your server. For example, I'm making mine IP Spy. And for the location drop down, choose whichever one of the locations is nearest to you in order to get the best speeds. And then for the operating system, we're going to be using Ubuntu 2004 or a higher distribution. And last but not least, the control panel, you guys can select none. Then Blackhost will prompt you to make an account and then proceed to check out in which you will be done getting your VPS. Now we're going to be getting you guys logged into the VPS server. This is where you're going to need MOBA Xterm. In order to gain access to the server you just bought from Blackhost, you guys want to go to the email you entered into Blackhost for an email regarding your server credentials. Once you found that email, you guys can go ahead and open MOBA Xterm. In the top left corner, you guys want to press session and then SSH. Then inside of the hostname field, you guys want to enter the main IP address from the email containing your server credentials from Blackhost. Make sure the port is set to 22 and then continue. Now it's going to pull up a black screen in which you'll be prompted to log into your server. The screen will say login as and you guys want to type in root. You're going to be logging in as root. Then you're going to be prompted to type in a password in which you will refer to the email containing your server credentials and copy your password into mobile Xterm. Then, if this is your first time using MOBA Xterm, it's going to prompt you to make a master password. This is going to be the password you can use to access all your servers. And just like that, you guys are logged into the VPS. Now we can start setting up the VPN. To start setting up the VPN, you guys need to download the OpenVPN install script. The command to download the script onto your server can be found on my website, so you guys can just copy and paste it because it does have a long link inside of it. I'll also have the command on the screen if you guys want to type it out. But once you have that curl command, you guys want to put it in the server and press enter. Once the command is finished and you guys have the script downloaded on your server, you guys want to type chmod space plus x space open vpn dash install dot sh. 
Then you guys want to run the script by typing dot slash open VPN dash install dot sh. Now the script is going to ask us a bunch of different questions about how we're going to configure our server. But keep in mind that all the default answers are already going to be inputted for you. So for the most part, we're just going to be pressing enter. It will ask for our server's main IP address, which is the same IP address that you put in the host name field when you were logging into the server. But it should already be there for you in which you can just press enter. We'll be using the default OpenVPN port, press one and then enter. We'll be using the UDP protocol for better speeds, type one and then press enter. To limit advertisements and trackers, we're going to be using AdGuard DNS, type 11 and then press enter. We will not be using compression, type N and then press enter. OpenVPN uses AES 256-bit encryption by default. We will not be editing the encryption settings. Type N and press enter. Now we're actually going to create the config file that you guys can use to connect. You'll be prompted to enter a client name and I'm just going to use John. Then it will ask you if you want to put a password on the config file. I am not going to be using a password, but this is where you would add one. I'm going to type one and press enter. Now your config file would have been created and we want to download it. To do this, go to the left side of MOBA X term and you should see a green refresh button on top of the directory of the server. Press the refresh button and then you should see a .ovpn file pop up inside of the directory. For me, it is john.ovpn. Now to download that onto your PC, you simply drag it onto your desktop for MOBA X term. Now you guys have your config file and you are ready to connect to your VPN. OpenVPN Connect supports many different devices and operating systems. So if you want to use your config file on your phone or a Mac, you guys can do that as well. Once OpenVPN Connect is open, you guys want to choose upload file at the top of the screen. Then simply upload or drag in the .ovpn file that you just downloaded onto your desktop from MOBA X term. Then continue adding your file and you guys can connect. Once you guys are connected to the VPN, if you want to double check that you're connected and see your IP address as well as where you're located, you guys can go to ipspy.io and you guys can see your server details there. I hope that you guys didn't get too bored while watching this video. I just wanted to go through all the different steps and hit all the details so that anybody who watches this video can actually set up their own VPN. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it informative. If you did, it really means a lot if you leave a like or a comment. If you want to see more videos, subscribe as well. Thank you guys so much. Bye-bye.